You know, so I've got some information I want to share with oh, you tonight. Boy. So why we have not had any severe weather in North Texas. And I talk about this all the time. One of the, one of the most important ingredients that we have to have, we have to have a spark. Right, we have to have lift within the atmosphere, okay? To get these clouds to tower up, you have to have rising air. We didn't have any of that. We've had very little or no lift at all in North Texas. All the lift that you have to have for severe thunderstorm development, all that has been north of the Red River, Oklahoma, Kansas, Nebraska, and also right now across the state of Iowa. Uh, we also didn't have uh, much in the way of sunshine. Oh, we had a peak here or there, but the high temps today were in the middle to lower 80s to upper 70s. So the lack of sunshine, no, signif no significant heat like in far western Oklahoma, you had temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s today. We didn't have that here, so we didn't have anything that could potentially break the cap. And then we had strong cap in place. I mean, we didn't have this. Even, even without that, even if let's say the cap was gone, that we didn't have any cap at all, you still have to have that, and you still have to have that. So we didn't have the ingredients for the severe weather outbreak. And I, I talk about the cap all the time, and I think it's worth a quick recap about the cap or the elevated mix layer that we have and where it comes from. Well, the cap comes from, I had some guy on, on the Twitter tell me that it came from the Gulf of Mexico. And he, you know, at least he was talking somewhere south. It doesn't come from the Gulf of Mexico. The, the moisture that we have beneath the cap, that comes from the Gulf of Mexico. But the cap is just warm, dry air. Where does it come from? It comes from the high plateaus of Mexico. There's that warm, dry air, these high plateaus of Mexico, and it just blows to the north. And these storm systems, the one that we had this big area of low pressure moving across the central part of the United States that pulls all that warm, dry air above North Texas from the high plateaus of Mexico and it positions it about three to 5,000 feet above North Texas, okay? And what that does for us is you look at the city of Dallas is we have this unstable air near the surface as it rises, it tries to make thunderstorms. That's that rising air, that's that lift that we need. Well, what happens is that rising air is black, uh, blocked by the cap, which acts like a lid on the atmosphere. And these, these thunderstorms, as they try to tower up, they just run into that warm, stable layer of air that blew in from the high plateaus of Mexico. So how can you break the cap? You have to have some heat. It has to heat up enough to break through the cap. Remember those upper 80s and lower 90s out in far western Oklahoma? They had the heat to break through the cap that they had there. And then you also have to have a disturbance that moves overhead to provide enough lift to overcome the cap. The disturbance could be a dry line, it could be a frontal boundary, it could be an upper level disturbance. They had all that in Oklahoma. We didn't have it here. There's the front, there's the dry line that moves in that provides the extra lift needed to break the cap. We didn't have, and hey, this is a great thing that we had the cap in place today. The cap could cause some real problems when you need some rain, but today it's prevented us from having any severe weather. Those are the thunderstorms. There's the watch. It does not include the Dallas Fort Worth area or North Texas. And my forecast tonight is dry, warm, and muggy, uh, breezy night. 72 is the low tonight. During the day tomorrow, a dry, warm day, less humid than today because a weak frontal move through tomorrow, uh, but still a warm day. We hit 88 tomorrow and then Wednesday. The severe weather threat is we have a slight risk of severe weather. That's a two on a scale of one to five on Wednesday, but only 30% of us see thunderstorms on Wednesday and on Thursday. And then we cool down just in time for uh, Mother's Day weekend. Sunday is indeed Mother's Day. And then rain returns, uh, maybe a stray shower Sunday, Mother's Day, then a better chance of rain on Monday, and even better chance of rain Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of the following.